Well, praise the Lord, friends. God bless you. Shakaraba sokuraba sota nama tana mota bata ibaba sata. What's up, friends? How are y'all doing? <clears throat> I hope y'all are doing good, like my hair, like my hair up in here. Glory to God. Comment below where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Praise God. One of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, is in the house. And I have some things I want to share from my heart to yours. Amen. From my heart to yours. So comment below where you're watching from. Continue to share this. Tag somebody. Glory to God. Hello, Vic Strike Canada. Thank you for being a subscriber. Thank you, Melissa. Bakersfield in the house. North Carolina, England. Hello, they're from Trinidad. Thank you, Cheryl Jones. Hi, Yolanda. Tim Kenner, good to see you. Dustina Lynn. Pacific Palisades. Hello there, Sharon Scott. First time viewer. Well, you will be blessed. Apostle Veronica. Love you, woman of God. God bless you. Donna Becker from Maui. Aloha. I will be visiting Maui in a couple months Suriname wow South America Georgia wow Georgia's strong here so far Orlando Florida I'll be ministering in Sanford next weekend actually in Sanford Cal uh, Florida DTLA hello there Prophet Ivana Carolyn God bless you Savannah Georgia Indonesia Salamatatang Tuhan Mamberkati Andabanya Waco Texas Frisco, Texas. <clears throat> glory, glory. Continue to comment below where you're watching from. I have some great things to share with you today on this Friday, on this Shabbat Shalom. Thank you, Apostle Veronica. Love you too. It was such a divine appointment for us to meet at the, uh, the Trump Towers in Hawaii. I mean, my goodness. Incredible. Cape Town, South Africa. Apostle Rachel, St. Louis. God bless you, woman of God. We can't wait to see you soon in the month of June once again. All right, Candace, look at that. Shika Tarababa. Glory to God. Cape Town, South Africa. Yeah, where is my South Africa family today? Amen. Well, I have a very strong, important word to share with you today. Amen. But I want to pray right now because a number of you are commenting that you're sick or, or asking for prayer. So God, right now, I command the fire of God to come upon your people. Come and touch your people right now from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. I command the spirit of infirmity, the spirit of death, every witchcraft spirit to be bound, to be broken, to be destroyed. Right now, off of their health, their immune system, off of their body. Right now, the power of Jesus, the fire of God, the blood speaks a better word. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet, I command the power of Jesus to touch your life. Loosen, release right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody shout hallelujah. Well, just receive that, people of God. And I am here in Grand Junction, Colorado. Let me tell you, I love this city. Uh, we arrived on Wednesday, and honestly, it feels like it's been days, but it's only been two days now. <clears throat> but I arrived Wednesday, and it was there was a, a tumultuous, uh, terrainous snowfall. And, uh, of course, I'm from Los Angeles. I'm a Southern California boy. So I'm not used to seeing that type of snow. And I loved it. It was beautiful. It was awesome. It was wonderful. Uh, but it's interesting, hear me now, because there's always signs in the sky. There's always signs that will accompany a prophet or a man, woman, a God. And I've seen this so many times whenever I travel. I've seen this so many times. Where, uh, I, I leave Los Angeles as an earthquake. You know how many times that's happened? The hour of, I fly out of Los Angeles to go to my next destination and there's an earthquake that happens in Los Angeles. 
or I land into Seattle and there's a helicopter crash or there's a shooting that happens in Washington State because there's always something happening in the supernatural realm, always. And whenever a man, woman, a God, whenever there's a, re a reception and a release of gifts, a reception and a release of spiritual gifts, there's always something that happens in the natural. Now, I'm not saying it snowed big time because we landed. I'm not saying that. But is, is it a coincidence or is it a sign? And so we landed on Wednesday and there was incredible snow, five to 10 inches of snow. It was beautiful, it was wonderful. And the last night was our first night of our meetings here in Grand Junction. Can I tell you, God is moving. God is moving so powerfully. The Holy Ghost is moving so powerfully, so abundantly, so beautifully, so gloriously. And this, despite, hear me now, despite what the devil tried to lie to you about, despite what the enemy tried to whisper to you about, despite what the enemy is pandering and meandering in the fake news, just know that Jesus is on the throne. The Spirit of God is moving. And there is a mighty move happening all across America. Someone say amen. Now, later today, uh, I wrote an article blog about the Asbury revival. Okay, now, incredible what's happening there. I'm 100% for it. I'm so for it. But uh, look at that. Someone said, Ben Limp, Grand Junction is where God saved me from a murderer who lives there. Wow. Wesley Cover, isn't that crazy? Grand Junction, Colorado, out of all places. <clears throat> but uh, I am 100% for the Asbury revival. And I know it's a move of God. I know God's behind it. But I, I wrote my heartfelt thoughts on it and my commentaries. So that blog will be up in the next few hours. But God is moving like never before. And I have a very strong word I want to preach to you and deliver to you. Because enough is enough. Enough is enough. No more playing in the shallow level, in the kiddie pool. Enough is enough. And I want to talk to you today because a line is being drawn in the sand and people are sick and tired of the mundane. People are sick and tired of church as usual, business as usual. Listen, you either need to repent and get in line or you will be demoted. I'm telling you, this is a season of great promotion for those who are pure in heart. However, many are being demoted right now. Am I preaching it? Many are being demoted right now. Many are being brought low because of their pride, because of their arrogance, because they're not able to humble themselves. So this is a season where God is about to raise up the Esthers and the Mordecais, the nameless and the faceless. And God is fed up with the secret friendly church. God is fed up with uh, the false gospel church, with the false prosperity gospel church. God is fed up and there's a mighty move that the Lord's releasing. And I wanna talk to you about enough is enough because I heard this in my spirit yesterday. Enough is enough. And many of you are crying out. I'm talking to you. Many of you are crying out, God, I need change. I need revival. I need reformation. I need something to shift in my life. Enough is enough. I'm losing my mind. I'm done with this low level, shallow level. I need the fire. I need the glory. I need the power of God. Jesus, I need you. Enough is enough. And I'm telling you, there is a hungry group of people that's rising up. And there is a group of people that's saying, Father, I need you or I will die. Jesus, I need you or I will die. Enough is enough. And let me tell you, friends, right now in this moment, a line is being drawn in the sand. A line is being drawn in the sand. My goodness, I feel the Lord right now. A line is being drawn in the sand. And the power of God is inviting us right now shoo, to step in, to come up higher. Glory be to God. For there is a holy jealousy. And God is jealous, jealous for his bride. And he's saying, son, daughter, I want you. I need you. I want you. I need you. I'm just trying to find my notes here. But I might just have to go straight from the dome. Because I don't, I don't see my notes. <clears throat> Glory to God. 
And the Lord is saying, I need you. I want you. Jesus. I feel the Holy Ghost right now already. There it is. Thank you, Lord. And I saw a vision. Yesterday, I heard this phrase in my spirit. Enough is enough. And I saw a vision in my spirit. I need you to follow me, friends. I saw a vision in the spirit of people throwing their hands in the air like, I'm done. I'm finished. I give up. I'm throwing in the towel. They're tired. They're fed up. They're throwing in the towel. They want to give up their assignment. They want to give up their mantle. They want to give up what God has called them. And right now, there is a release coming. There's a release of grace, grace. There's a release of strength. A release of rejuvenation. I'm telling you, there's a second wind coming. Some of you feel like you started off this year on the wrong foot. Some of you feel like this year started off with a left curve, with a left ball. Some of you feel like you didn't start off in the best or in the right way, but I'm telling you, there's a second wind coming. There's a new wind coming. There's a wind of change coming, and God's about to increase. He's about to shift you in the mighty name of Jesus. But yesterday, I saw a vision of somebody throwing their hands in the air, saying, Jesus, I'm done. I throw in the towel. Enough is enough. I'm tired. I'm finished. I don't want to go on any longer. I don't want to go on like this any longer. And you know what? You should not go forward without the power of God. You and I, we will not move forward without the power of God. What did Moses say? Moses said, God, if your presence does not go forward with us, then I'm not going to go. If you do not go forward, then I'm not going to go. If your favor, if the light of your face, if your glory, your green light, your blessing, your presence, if you do not go forward with me, then I'm not going to move from this place. And I sense that many of us are in the same boat right now. What we're saying, Father, enough is enough. We cannot go on in the same way anymore. I'm not going to continue my life in the same manner and measure anymore. Well, you know what, friends? It's time for change. It's time to repent. It's time to renew. It's time to redo. It's time to become new. It's time to shift. And I feel this so strong in my spirit that God is saying, son and daughter, cross over the line. Step into the new. Step into a place of blessing, prosperity, and abundance. Because the Lord wants to encourage you. Let me ask you, have you been feeling discouraged? You feel like, again, this year came at you like a freight train. You started off this year like a, a curveball, like a left ball curveball, like suddenly out of nowhere. It wasn't what you thought, what you expected. Well, I'm, I'm telling you right now, by the power of God, the Lord is about to do it suddenly in your life. He's about to switch some things up in your life. Someone say amen. So I heard in my spirit, the Lord say, enough is enough. And I saw a vision of people throwing their hands up in the air saying, I'm tired. Enough is enough. I'm tired of low level church. I'm tired of jealousy. I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of the gossip. I'm tired of the Jezebels. I'm tired of God. Something has to shift. Something has to change. Something has to move in my life. And I'm telling you, there is a holy frustration boiling to the top. What happens when you start boiling some water? A bubble, 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 and then bee! some of you are at that boiling point right now. Who am I talking to? Some of you are at that boiling point right now. And God is saying, shoo, get ready for the whistle to blow. Get ready for the trumpet to blast. Get ready for the sound, for the alarm to be released. Get ready for the announcing of the power and the glory of God. The announcing of all that God is about to do. Get ready. This is a season where God is saying, get ready for great change. Get ready for great change. So I saw a vision of some of somebody throwing their hands up in the air like, I'm fed up, I'm tired, Lord. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm throwing in the towel. And then I saw another vision right after that. I need you to hear me. I saw as they had their hands up raised saying, I'm tired, 
enough is enough. I'm sick and tired. All of a sudden, as they had their hands raised up, they went into surrender and worship. And as they went into worship, they transformed and transfigured and became a new creation. And a new mantle of light began to illuminate out of them. I'm telling you, friends, the Bible says that he's the God of more than enough. He's a God that's more than enough. He is El Shaddai. He's a, he's a God who's many-breasted. He's the God of great provisions. He's the God of more than enough. And I believe in this season, God is saying, enough is enough. However, get ready to experience the God of more than enough. Jesus is enough. I feel the Lord right now. Jesus is enough. The Bible is enough. The Spirit of God is enough. Jesus is enough. It's not Jesus plus this. It's not Jesus plus Jesus is enough. That's it. That's the simple gospel. I feel the Holy Ghost. So get ready for transformation. Get ready for transfiguration. You are going to switch. You're going to change. You're going to evolve. You're becoming a new creation. I'm prophesying to you right now. You are becoming a new creation. Enough is enough. A line is being drawn in the sand. And many of you right now, hear me now. This is, for some of you, this may be your last opportunity of grace. For you to change your ways. Consider your ways. For you to repent. For you to stop being so proud and haughty. For you to stop with your secret sins with the gossip and the slander of your heart. For some of you, this may be your last opportunity. Come on, hear this word. He heed these words of warning. For some of you, this may be your last opportunity for you to shift and for you to change. I believe right now, many of you are tired of the level of your life. You're saying, Lord, I need Jesus. Lord, I need a move. God, I need a seat of fire. I need a seat of... God, rakata. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. This is the moment. This is the season to switch it up, to cross over. And I believe right now God's releasing new downloads. He's releasing new ideas. He's releasing new strength. Are you hearing me today, friends? I know I came in like a bulldozer today, like I usually do. But today is a day where I believe God is saying, get ready for great change. Get ready for great change. If you're tired and if you're fed up, if you're saying, God, enough is enough, shoo, get ready for the fire of God to fall. It's falling. It's happening. God's moving. God's doing it. But enough is enough. Stop pandering to low-level people. Stop allowing toxic people in your life. Do not tolerate immature behavior. People keep dropping the ball. Do not tolerate that type of inconsistency. Do not tolerate a low-level anointing. Do not tolerate. Do not accept it as your destiny. Do not accept it as your identity. You may not have seen what you wanted to see. You may not have started off this year in the best and in the right way. Come on, I'm preaching to myself, but it's not too late. Enough is enough. I feel the Lord right now. I am the God that healeth thee. My goodness. I believe there's a healing anointing coming. A healing anointing. Enough is enough. Listening to these fake news, these false prophets. All the nonsense, jealousy, haterate. Enough is enough. The Lord's tired with it. The Lord's tired. And he's going to shake, he's going to break. He's going to bring it low into humility. And I, I believe there's a generation, there's a remnant of people that are saying enough is enough. 
I'm going to take back my country. I'm going to take back my schools. I'm going to take back my family. We're going to fight. It's time to fight. I'm not going to be bullied anymore. I'm not going to be pushed around anymore by the Jezebel spirit. I'm not going to be manipulated. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to walk around with eggshells anymore. Enough is enough. I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> so this is your opportunity for shift, for change. This is your moment to truly turn, and I prophesy, turn around by the end of this month. Great, great turnaround. By the end of this month. Do you know why? Because it is the Purim season. And whenever it's Purim, we know and we understand that there is a turnaround and a turnover and an overturning of false decrees and words. I declare right now, every evil, ill spoken word against you will be broken down, will be turned over, will be overturned. Get ready for turnaround in your life. In this season of Purim, every false decree, every false word. And hear this now, I hear this. Every false church, every false church and false move will be brought low. And the Lord is turning things around in your life. In the name of Jesus. I'm telling you, friends, hear me now. Hear me now. The Lord is about to pull the plug. God himself is about to pull the plug on many ministries, many organizations. There is going to be an uprooting, a plumbing, a plumb line. There is going to be and exposure. And I know I've been talking about this for years. And so have other prophets and prophetic voices. But hear me now. In the next three months. From Purim to Pentecost. I want you to comment. From Purim to Pentecost. From Purim to Pentecost. There's going to be a lot more exposure. A lot more uprooting. A lot more. Wow. Shikara, what's the right word? It's it's a plumb line. It's a plumbing. It's a bringing up. A, it's going to be a lot more that's going to happen from Purim to Pentecost. There's going to be an uprooting of ministries, of proud and haughty people who are moving out of a false Lying, manipulative spirit. Shakaraba, tarababa. And there's going to be an uprooting of different organizations and people. Listen, friends, I need you to hear this. The spirit of prophecy is all over this right now. I'm flowing in the prophetic right now. If you have not yet recognized, but from Purim, from now to Pentecost, we need to pray. We need to pray. Because there's going to be some sudden, shocking things that's going to happen. From now to Pentecost, there's going to be things with Israel and even a watch in the United States. Watch in the United States. I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost. I, I feel like, I feel like the Lord's wanting to release more, but I, I need you to pray with me. I saw Russia and I saw the space. I hear the Lord saying, Russia space. Russia space. 
Russian space. I see rockets in the sky over Israel and the United States. Wow. Wow. More explosions and exposure. I need you to write that. Explosions and exposure. Wow. Wow. Someone say preach, Pastor Ben. Explosions and exposure. And you know, I prophesied about the two E's. Even as Prophet Kim Clement prophesied years ago, explosions, no, eruptions and earthquakes. But I believe even one of the words that I prophesied for 2023. Let's see. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It was about the explosions. <clears throat> But I heard the Lord say explosions and exposure in the United States. My goodness. Come on, if you're with me today, say amen. Explosions and exposure. I'm looking. At, my, at the words that I wrote here and I prophesied. Look at that. <laughs> Revival fires all across the earth. Royals, royalties, governments and kingdoms, number 17. Shocking world events. Breaking world records, assassination attempts. My goodness. And even as the Lord said, by April, a greater shaking and tanking of the worldwide economy. Thank you, Lord. Explosions and exposure in the United States even by the month of May. But friends, come on, I need you, I need you to just pray in the Holy Ghost for a little bit more because I feel, I feel, I need a, we need to wait upon God right now. I don't want to speak anything outside of my own mind and flesh. This is what waiting on the Lord looks like. For I see, I see Biden shaking hands with Prime Minister Xi in China. And I hear get ready for exposure of the Biden family and the Xi dynasty. Get ready for Chinese exposure. <laughs> Glory to God. For there will be more and more What I saw right now, and you know what? I did not know I was going to go this deep with the prophetic flow right now. But I'm prophesying in the spirit because the Lord has called me up in the spirit. But what I just saw right now was a black hole a black hole like the abyss and it's a deep dark demonic portal that's been opened 
a deep, dark, demonic portal that's been opened. Like the abyss that's been opened. And I saw in the spirit, <clears throat> the Lord say, do not be surprised at the blatant evil and satanic witchcraft that the world is displaying on public stages. For there has been, a portal's been opened. A portal has been opened. Wow. And there are demon spirits coming forth right now. There are demon spirits. There are Nephilim. There are certain type of end times principalities coming out of hiding and out of the darkness right now. But do not be afraid, says God. For I am putting all of your enemies to shame. And I will destroy every work of the enemy by my fire, says God, by the fire of purity. And hear me now, that's why what's happening with the Asbury Revival and these young people getting touched, it's so wonderful because it's pure. Now, I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm not saying all these people are perfect, but it's pure. This is a season. Come on, I know we passed Valentine's Day, but this month is a season of purifying love. He's purifying the church. He's purging the bride. He's purging and perfecting that gold on the inside of us. And only the pure will thrive. Only those with clean hands and a pure heart will ascend the hill of the Lord. And I sense that so strong right now that these young people with such a innocence, such a purity. And it's funny because I'm 32. I'll be 30. I'm 31. I'll be 32 in a few days. But I'm seeing these young people, you know, because that it feels like it's a, it's a huge wide age gap. I, I've always felt like an old soul, like an old man, even though I can't be youthful at times. But, whew, glory, Kanawata. But remember, it was Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, and Daniel with hearts of purity. They did not defile themselves. They decided to not defile themselves. And that is what overturned the kingdom. Esther's purity, her kosher, her kadosh is what overturned the kingdom. And right now there's a purifying, purging fire. The Lord is getting his church ready right now. Someone say right now. He's getting us ready, my friends. Because it's the pure. And why do you think, trust me, I did not know I was going to go down these routes today, okay? But why do you think abortion the spirit of Molech and Baal and Ashtaroth. Why do you think they love killing babies? Because it's such pure, innocent blood. The more pure, innocent the life is, the more powerful it is. Why do you think the Lamb of God, the Pesach Passover Lamb, why do you think the Passover Lamb had to have no blemish, no spot, no wrinkle. And it had to be a baby lamb. It couldn't be a teenager. It couldn't, it had to be a calf, a baby lamb, a calf cow, a baby lamb. Because the more young, the more innocent, the more holy, the more powerful it is. And that's why Wow. 
That's why in this day and age, the Lord is renewing your youth. The Lord is renewing your youth and is going to raise up the youth. I'm telling you, I see a mighty move in Korea, in South Africa, in China, Hong Kong, all across the world. A remnant of young people is going to rise up without spot, without blemish, without wrinkle, without stain. And they shall rise up. Even in the continent of Africa, the continent of South America. Hey! People are saying enough is enough. We're tired of these false revolutions. We're tired of these communistic, tyrannical doctrines. There's a revolution. There's a revival. There's a move of God. There's a move of God's people. A move of God's saints. It's time to mobilize. It's time to evangelize. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. My goodness. Enough. The Lord's, the Lord's tired false prophets. The Lord's tired of all the lies, manipulation. Be true to yourself. Be true to God. Kira Baba, be true to yourself. And there's going to be an uprooting. A plumb line. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, if this word is bearing witness with your spirit, I want you to say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. I feel like I'm in a, I feel like I'm in an odd prophetic flow right now. Isaiah 41, 12. You shall seek those who contend with you, but you shall not find them. Those who war against you will be nothing at all. Someone say hallelujah. I'm going to read that again. You shall seek those who contend with you, but you shall not find them. Those who war against you, they shall be nothing at all. You're going to look back and say, it's done, it's finished. I'm telling you right now, God has released angels right now. I release angels on assignment. Shoo. My, I release angels on assignment right now to be sent to you. And I declare and I decree a restraining order on every demonic hex vex flow. I de I de release a restraining order against every sabotaging spirit. Canker worm, palmer worm, locust, grasshopper. I release a restraining order by the authority that is vested in me by the states of the kingdom of God on earth as is in heaven. Loosen in Jesus' name. I'm telling you, friends, enough is enough. The Lord, I just saw justice and vindication coming to you. <laughs> justice and vindication is coming to you. Some of you better celebrate. Some of you better celebrate. I'm telling you, get ready to celebrate. Get ready to dance. Get ready to praise God because your vindication, that justice, that victory is coming. Get ready to eat some cake. Someone say, preach, Dr. Man. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Ding dong, the witch is dead. I just saw Haman's head get cut off. The head of Haman will be hung. The head of Haman will be hung. And get ready. Because God is about to put 
all your enemies in public display. My goodness. This is such an odd broadcast, but it might be one of my favorites because the Lord's all over this. Colossians 2.15, glory to God. And having disarmed, say disarmed, the rulers and authorities, he put them to open shame. Ha <laughs> ha, come on. He put them to open shame by triumphing over him. Are you ready to step on snake scorpion? Are you ready to stomp on these devils? The Bible is about to disarm every power that has been sent against you. Imagine, you see my arm here? Imagine, my arm is dismembered. Pull it off like a rag doll. God is about to disarm every attack, every vice. The devil's been trying to deplete you financially, discourage you spiritually. The devil's been trying to attack you mentally. It's done. He is disarming every leech, every draining force. He's disarming every toxic branch root from your life. It's done. It's by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Ha! Sha! Ruska tarabrata. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Enough is enough. So much hallelujah. Rabba baba satarabrata. Come on, I need you to pray in the Holy Ghost right now. I feel breakthrough in this place right now. Rabba soto roko sandabashata. Some of you are tired. Listen, I come in agreement with you right now. As a man of God, I come in agreement right now that this is the beginning of your new. This is the beginning of your new level, of your new creation, of your new height. This is the beginning. True. Ha <sighs> 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 Glory. Listen, I saw doors being opened. <laughs> I prophesy right now. I'm going to prophesy over some people right now. Jesus. But I saw new doors being opened for you. I saw stagnant waters becoming fresh again. Stagnant waters becoming fresh. Jesus. Rama mama shikara brata tara loro shatara brata. Rama mama mama. I want you to say goodbye to your past. Goodbye to your low level. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you never. I need you to say good. I need you to divorce your past right now. I need you to bury your past. I need you to bury those people, bury those haters, bury those lies, bury. I need you to bury it good because you rose again with Jesus as a new creation. You rose again with Jesus as a new son, as a new daughter, as a new child of God, as a new child of them. You rose again. I need you to bury. I need you to praise. It's time to celebrate because you're coming up and you're coming out. You're coming up and you're coming out. Somebody shout hallelujah. Rabba baba si karabrata. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. It may be formed, but it will not prosper. Those demon, satanic, cabal elitists, they may form another virus but it will not prosper. They may conspire and conjure up another explosion. Wow. Or another attack by the World Economic Forum, but it shall not prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, someone say fire. 
Someone say hallelujah. Shakaraba. Let me tell you, friends. You probably have not seen or felt the glory. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm at a whole nother level. You see my hair? I've gone super saiyan. You have not seen Dr. Ben Lim like this probably in a, in a while because there's something about revival and this is revival season and what God did last night and what God's doing here in Grand Junction, it makes me come alive, come alive, makes me come alive because there's something fresh, real and raw happening in Grand Junction, Colorado. That's why I love it here. Jesus, Jesus, somebody shot fire. My goodness, if you're with me today, say amen. But I'm telling you, friends, it's time for the new breed to arise. The nameless, faceless. I don't want church games. I don't want church gimmicks. I don't want to be insta-famous. I don't want to be influential. I want to be obedient. I need the fire. I need the power. I need Jesus. I don't want to be popular. I want to be pure. I don't want to be known. I want to know God. And there's a whole group of people rising forth that are saying enough is enough. I'm tired of the mundane. I'm tired of the low level. I will not accept this as my future. I will not tolerate this as my destiny. This is not who I am. I'm talking to you. This is not who you are. You may not like this chapter of your story. You may not like this chapter of your book, but this is not who you are. This is not the end of your life. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. You know, you may not be all that happy or all that proud of your accomplishments or what you've accomplished, what you've done, what you've gone through, where you are today, but this is not the end. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. My goodness. I feel a dead raising anointing right now. I feel a dead raising anointing right now. I command every area of death in your life to come alive. Come alive. Come out of those tombs of your grave clothes. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus. Come alive. He's alive. He's alive. And they thought they killed Jesus, but they did not know. Hear me now. Woo it's so good. I love how the Lord just is such a, he, he, he's such a good God. He just weaves everything in. They thought they killed Jesus. But on the third day, he rose again. <laughs> and he had a laugh. He sits in the heavens and he laughs. He sits in the heavens and he laughs. I feel like I'm... What, what's that guy? What's, what, I feel like I'm a... Who's that guy? Uh, I'm losing my mind right now. <laughs> but like Apostle Paul says, if I'm out of my mind for your mind's sake, right? Thank you, Lord. Who's that guy who always sits at the lake at the Lakers game? Who's that guy? Jack Nicholson. <laughs> I feel like I'm Jack Nicholson. I feel like I'm Jack Nicholson. A hysterical, a hysterical. I feel like I've lost my mind right now. But you see, the devil thought he finished Jesus. The devil thought he finished, he killed but Jesus came out of that grave. Yeshua came out of that grave. 
You know why? Because this is the third year. And this is the year of the comeback. This is the year of resurrection. Come on, somebody. The Lord said, 2023, 5783, 3 in Hebrew. This is the year of resurrection. So get ready for your comeback. You thought you were buried. You felt buried. You're done. You're tired. You're fed up. You felt like you were buried under bills, buried under responsibilities. You've, you're tired. You're, you feel stuck. But get ready for resurrection. For your comeback anointing. This is the third year anointing. 2023, 5783. This is the year of your comeback. Wow. And I prophesy, the month of March, the third month of 2023, will be a month of resurrection. So get ready, Arizona. Get ready, Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. Get ready, New Jersey. Washington, D.C., Hawaii. That's where I'm going to be in the whole month of March. But get ready. For March will be a year. March will be a month of the third day power of resurrection. It will be a month of resurrection. I'm telling you, friends, the third day resurrection power glory is upon us. If you receive the same man, if you receive the same man, get ready for your comeback anointing. Get ready for the third day anointing of resurrection to come upon you. The Lord's going to shock and surprise you. The Lord's going to shock your enemies. My goodness. Shoot, you are even going to be shocked. Some say hallelujah. You're saying enough is enough. It's time to come up higher, my friends. It's time for a higher standard. It's time for a greater glory. It's time for a genuine revival. It's time for real miracles. It's time because a line is being drawn in the sand. And choose this day whom you will serve. The God of Elijah, hear me now. Or the God of Jezebel. And many can have church, but it doesn't mean they're the remnant. I'm going to say that again. Many can have church, but it doesn't mean it's the remnant. Sure, you can have church with blessings, Numbers, you can have church with the lights, with the follows, but is it the remnant? Is it the remnant of revival, fire, and glory? Someone say hallelujah. Jesus, enough is enough, my friends. Stop tolerating Jezebel's potions, stop tolerating compromise. Stop tolerating that codependent, manipulative, toxic spirit. Stop tolerating a low level in your life. Stop pouting. Stop doubting. Stop moaning. Come on. Change is now. Now is the time. Step up. Step in. Come up higher. Shift. Repent. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. And I sense the Lord is also tired. <clears throat> like I said earlier, get ready for exposure and a plumb line. From now to Pentecost. Exposure and plumb line. Explosions and exposure. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus. If I'm talking to you, I want you to say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. Pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Thank you, Lord. There was a number of things that was released today. I'm telling you, this is a holy, holy, holy broadcast. This is a holy, holy, holy broadcast. I see Dr. Tadius, Apostle Veronica, so happy you're still on. But I sense this is such a kadosh broadcast today because so much was released by the Spirit of God, by the Spirit of the Lord. So much intel, insight, instruction was released today. Come on, keep praying in the Spirit, friends. When you pray in the Spirit, it solidifies the Word of the Lord in your life. It seals it on your heart. Come on, somebody. If you receive these words today, say amen. If you receive these words today, say amen. Jesus. The Lord is pulling the plug and he's pulling the plumb line. Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive in the name of Jesus. This is a house of miracles. We sing. Come alive in the name of Jesus. Come alive. I see you going higher. I prophesy now. You will only go higher and higher from this day on. This will be the lowest point of your life in Jesus' name. This will be the lowest point of your life. Carolyn, I'm talking to you. Apostle Robert, I'm talking to you. Barbara, I'm talking to you. Child of Most High. Katie, Jackie, Javed, Amy, Gracie Jones, Vembai, Vanessa, I'm talking to you. Eraman Babarokata, Sharice, Prosperity Moore, I'm talking to you. Jurgen Meyer, Susie Bergstrom, Yes, I'm talking to you. Melissa Filler, I'm talking to you. Yes, Lord, come on. Sophia Samuel Miazu. Mary Elizabeth, I'm talking to you. Connie Perez, I'm talking to you. Heidi Millington, I'm talking to you. Cheryl Jones, come on. Shata Tataraba. Rihanna Von Royan Bozeman. Kristen Susan, I'm talking to you. Bambi Hall, thank you for being a subscriber. I'm talking to you. Lola D. Herrera, I'm talking to you. Glory. Doris Ired, talking to you. Jackie Foster. Ty Etiwa Manti. Tamatha Taylor, I'm talking to you. Melissa Tolbert. Kat Lago Chuku Chabuna. Margo L. Gibson Raymond. Michelle Ia Rowe. My goodness. Candace Beam Reeves. I'm talking to you. Aves Sandoval. Yeri Samuel. I'm talking to you. Erica Digby D. Witt. Renee Gardner. Javed Masi. I'm talking to you. Jolly Shilpa. Huh? Jesus. Anne Travick. Chanel Jackson. Patty Hampton. I'm talking to you. Monica Joy Maas. Natalie Sanchez Martin, Brandon Barnett, I'm talking to you. Jesus, P.S. Asum Kalim. Come on, Sherry Vogel, I'm talking to you. Maria Dick, I'm talking to you. Lakian Samuel Guavis, Ann Esther Waring. My goodness, my spelling is off the charts today, my pronunciation. 
Linda Bukes, I'm talking to you. Sonia Koidek, I'm talking to you. Milagre Oliveira, I'm talking to you. Prophet Luis Marcelo Munoz, I'm talking to you. Latanya Minix, I'm talking to you. Elisa Gonzalez, come on. You better put your name on it. DJ, I'm talking to you. Shoo. Shoo. <laughs> Jennifer Farley, I'm talking to you. Zareen Chi, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Haley Sylvester, Kresek V. This will be the lowest point of your life. This today, Helen Joy Hasebong Silverstein, I'm talking to you. Steve Fickus, I'm talking to you. Salomien Pretoyas Botha, sorry I butchered your name, but I'm talking to you. Kelly Bailey, I'm talking to you. Rebecca Tipton, I'm talking to you. Jesus. Carolyn Ward, I'm talking to you. Shantaria Star Williams, I'm talking to you. R. Chavez. Rashida Lockin, I'm talking to you. Bernice Alexander, I'm talking to you. Denise Duke, I'm talking to you. Jesus. Stephanie Ferrante. Frenete, I'm talking to you. Jesus. This will be the lowest point of your life. February 17, 2023 will be the lowest point of your life. Alicia Allen, Michael and Deborah Escobar, I'm talking to you. Child of Most High, I'm talking to you. Maria Springer, I'm talking to you. My goodness. Yeah, Gracie Jones, I'm talking to you. Hazel Ballesteros, I'm talking to you. Touch not my anointed. Do my prophets no harm. Tamitha Taylor, I'm talking to you. Iba ba 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 sata. Ziba ba ba. This will be the lowest point of your life. Financially, spiritually, relationally, revelatory. This will be the lowest point of your life yet. In Jesus' name. And Travik, I'm talking to you. Someone say hallelujah. Shh. Glory to God. Rabba ba 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 sata. I feel the Holy Ghost. This is such a powerful broadcast. Dr. Tadius, I'm talking to you. Feli Michelle Woods, I'm talking to you. Mel Moodley, I'm talking to you. Charmaine Hugbar, I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Cassandra Jacobo, I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Ginger Canella, I'm talking to you. Jesus. Bambi Hall, I'm talking to you. Thanks for being a subscriber. You too, Kristen Suzanne. Thanks for being a subscriber. <sighs> My goodness. This will be the lowest point of your life. Susan Larson. This will be the lowest day of your life. Sonia Kodik. Jesus. My goodness. Michelle Eroy. Eru. Crystal Mills. This will be the lowest point of your life. Maria Springer, the lowest point of your life. Hallelujah. Rabababo Satara Brata. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Jesus. 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 The Lord's pulling the plug. The Lord is pulling the plug. The Lord is pulling the plug. My goodness. Come on, give me some hearts and likes, friends. I feel the glory of God. So strong in this place. Jolly Shilpa, yes. Yes, DJ. Lori Justice. Brenda K. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Chew. Chew. 
Christina Tarpley. Lift up your hands, Christina Tarpley. In fact, Christina, I want you to put your hand on the screen right now. Every single one of you, put your hand on the screen right now. God, I ask you to release, release, release. Let the favor of God come upon your people. Every area of lack be destroyed. Every area of lack will be replenished, refreshed and restored. Get ready for suddenlies and for turnarounds. In Jesus' name, suddenlies and for turnarounds. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Now, friends, I feel this very strong today. You know, I haven't been around on Facebook and social media for a few weeks, but you're going to be seeing me a lot more uh, in the weeks to come. But I want you to consider sowing a seed. Amen. In this moment of glory, in this atmosphere of the Holy Ghost, I want you to consider sowing a seed because how can you not in this atmosphere, in this broadcast, in this moment? And I, I, as you sow, you comment breakthrough. But I just linked the ways to give our link tree, amen. I just linked the pin the ways to give, but I want you to pray about sowing a seed on this Friday, on this Shabbat, in his breakthrough broadcast, because so much was released today. And I wasn't even thinking about taking up an offering. But for those who have ears to hear, this is doing you a favor because you get to sow into this. And when you do so, you will reap from it. So consider sowing a seed, amen. And as you do so, just comment breakthrough. Glory to God. I'm telling your friends, this will be the lowest point of your life. Jesus. This will be the lowest point of your life. Jesus. Jesus. So with faith, expectation. Ramando skoro broka boshka tarabraka. Honestly, we have some of the best followers on Facebook and social media. Some of the best. We love you. We love you. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes, Alicia Allen. All you have to do is click on the link and it will go to the Cash App link. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Shara babara kataba shatara brata. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. Well, you know Connie Perez. You know our church is in Orange County in Fountain Valley. And I'll be there this Sunday, that's for sure. Glory, glory, glory.
Continue to sow in his atmosphere as the spirit of the Lord leads you. But do not leave this broadcast this moment now. Carolyn Ward says, can we sow for your birthday? Yes, you can. You just write on the notes, birthday gift for Pastor Ben. Glory, glory, glory. God bless you, Luis Emmanuel from Zurich, Switzerland. Where will you be in Maui? Well, actually, Donna Becker, just go to BenlamGlobal.com. Go to BenlamGlobal.com and you will see our events. We are doing a big event in Oahu and in Hilo. Maui, I might just be going for vacation, but let's see. Thank you, Mary, for sowing a birthday seed. Appreciate you. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you, thank you. Love you. Can't wait to see y'all in person. <laughs> glory, glory, glory. Rabashi karabasu toroko sabababa. Thank you, Crystal Mills. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Erica. Thank you, Michael and Deborah Escobar. Jesus. Well, friends, thanks for watching today. Wow. What a word. It's like home alone right there. What a word today. What a flow today. Jesus. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Love you all. Shabbat Shalom. Have a great weekend. If this broadcast blessed you, please share it. Amen. Please share this broadcast. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. And I will see you soon. God bless. Love you.